Dusty Rhodes in his book um, in talking about you, he said that after the shows where he would come in and do the WWWF shows and you were on the show in um, New York City, he would go to the nightclubs and if you would be at the nightclub, he would walk in the nightclub and everybody would leave where you are and go to get him, go to get his autograph and you would look at him with a disgusted face. First of all, I've never been in a nightclub <laughs> with Dusty Rhodes. I, I was not a nightclub person. I didn't go to nightclubs. Right. Never been in one. And I heard he also said that whenever we had an autograph session, that people would all rush to him and me. I, I, I don't know if this guy's got an, if he's that egotistical or, 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 or that he convinces himself of these ridiculous lies. Dusty Rhodes was never a big deal in the Northeast. When, when did he ever headline Madison Square Garden or, or any of the other big arenas around here? Not, not during my era, and he was certainly there during my era. You know, somebody else told me that he said that, and I said, all i got to say is that this guy is as sick as he is fat, because <laughs> it never happened. Right. right. And you know what's funny is, um, after those comments came out, and a lot of a lot of your fans would like post on the internet and stuff, and they would say, not only does that story not sound credible, but people that would know you would say, Bruno never even went to the nightclubs after the show. And I never did. Yeah. I never did. So I don't know why these people write this kind of garbage in their books. I don't know. Is it to sell books? Is it to, uh, I, I, I don't understand. Why do they fabricate these ridiculous stories? I, I just don't understand it. I just don't.